Are you tired of matching up against overpowered squads? Visit u7by.com for cheap and safe FC coins on the market. Remember to use the discount code DRFC for 6% off. Check the link in the description. Yo guys welcome back to another defense tutorial of FC24. Today's video is beyond telling you how to jockey, how to tackle and many stuffs like that. But it's all about defending knowledge, understanding how to defend in different scenarios and develop a strong pressuring defense. So without wasting much time like the video and we jump into it. To develop the defense vision, I mean understanding what to defend, you need to look at the opponent's ball holder, not just looking, but observe and understand where that player is facing and doing, the opponent's options like pass and space. The direction where that player is facing, is where the opponent most likely to pass ball to. This information is helpful if you want to improve your skills of cutting passing lanes. Like this clip, the opponent is facing this direction, he has these two passing options available, but since he's facing in this direction towards this player, I cut this passing lane not minding about the other, and the opponent ended up playing this pass and I win the ball. Not only about cutting passing lanes, it's also helpful to observe the opponent's player when defending one-on-one, -on -one. here it gives you the clear understanding when the opponent is changing speed and direction, using that information you can react and defend. The most effective way to defend well is to keep the defense shape solid and coordinated. So when defending, to whatever formation you're using, you need to keep that defender in his position according to the formation. Meaning you should not drag that defender from his position and move him to another defender's position, unless when that defender supposed to defend that position is displaced. To keep your team shape you need to always manually reposition your defenders, and to do so you need to switch players. We have the L1 or LB. The quick switch, this selects the nearest defender around the ball, and normally the game makes that decision. So to whatever zone the ball moves to, you need to select a defender responsible to defend that zone. Then we have the right stick switch, this you use the right analog to switch between your defenders, and a lot of players use the player relative, where the defender with the cursor is the center of the switch. So to select any defender you flick the analog to the direction that defender is in from this defender with the cursor. The analog switch is basically used to select long-distance defenders from the ball. But elite players use it to select defenders in every situation, because the L1 or quick switch is not consistent and sometimes it makes wrong defender selection in critical moments. When you keep your team shape solid, the opponent will have difficulties to create chances, because there's little space, and his AI players will not make those runs to create passing opportunities. And it's also easy to press when your players are in their right positions, you don't need those scenarios when you're just tracking back to defend spaces, you need to always keep your defenders in their positions. You don't just position your defenders and wait the opponent to give you the ball, no, you have to take a defense action, and here is how to understand which defense action you need to take. First is to block the opponent's path towards your goal, this is important, the opponent needs to move forward and reach your goal such that he can create a chance and score, but if you stop him from progressing forward Ely, by positioning your defender into that path and block it, then you're taking the defense role of that player into action. For example here, the opponent gets this counter-attack, when you take a close look at the mini-map, there's a big space left, and the opponent want to take that advantage and move freely towards my goal. This player I'm controlling, he's not in a good position to either press this player, or block the way towards my goal because he's behind this ball holder. So I take a look at the map, I see my defender positioned in the middle of the pitch, so he's available to defend this situation, but he's not in a right position to do it. I use the right stick switch and select that defender, then I start pulling him towards that space to block that path, I manage to block the opponent's way and he decide to change direction, but my defenders were in good positions and I win the ball. Second is to cut passing lanes, there are times when the opponent has that free pass, cutting passing lanes is so easy. 1. You can just position your defender in between the opponent's ball holder and ball receiver. Then the second way is to position near the opponent's ball receiver. If the opponent plays that pass, then you're in a good position and mental state to react faster than your opponent. The opponent will have many open passing options, but there are some which you need to prioritize, those forward pass. We recently looked at gaining ground concept on the offensive side, so now let's look at it in a defense way. Your opponent needs to gain ground, 
meaning he want to move forward, so passing the ball is the fastest way to move forward quickly, but forward passes are the most important obviously. For example here, the opponent has these three clear passes, this pass backwards to his center back, this pass sideways to his midfielder, and lastly this forward pass towards his striker, and these three passes, we all understand that this forward pass is the quickest way the opponent can move forward. But the player I'm controlling is not in a good position to intercept this forward pass because he will be late by the time the ball leaves the ball holder's feet. Now the role to intercept this pass is in the hands of this defender, but he's not near the ball, using the L1 switch will be a big mistake here. So the only option is to use the right stick analog, I flick it and gain control of this defender, I speed jockey and intercept that pass. So the point to note here is respect the team shape, cutting passing lanes, but make sure that you're not pulling out defenders. Then the third one is to apply pressure, you need to press and challenge for the ball, basically to approach and press that player with the ball you need to make sure the opponent has no space and open passing lanes, this is not by rule, I will explain later. When we say about approaching and apply pressure, it doesn't mean that you rush and over commit, it depends on the area of the pitch, if it's high up the pitch, it's fine even if you approach aggressively and tackle that ball because usually here the opponent is controlling players with low dribbling skills like center backs and full backs, so it's easy to rush and dispossess those players and win the ball. But normally when approaching you need to consider the one-on-one -on -one basic principles. If you are enjoying the video make sure you like the video and even subscribe if you have not yet. 1. You need to position your defender in front of that ball holder, here it's hard for the opponent to just keep dribbling forward. 2. 2-3 two to three yards to make it hard for the opponent to beat your defender with easy tricks. Lastly you need to time and tackle the ball. We have a dedicated video about tackling, check the link in the description. For example here, the opponent realize he has no space in front, he has no open passing lane forward, so he's planning to turn away and protect the ball, I immediately rush and press his player, I tackle and win this ball. Another example, here after blocking the opponent's path towards my goal, he tries to cut inside, now here he has no other options, this pass is not open because of this AI player, he has no open path towards my goal, so I decide to approach and apply pressure, as I expected, I win the ball. Last example, here I close this pass towards the winger, then I switch back to my nearest defender because he's responsible for defending this fullback, though this pass is closed, but still the opponent has this free path, and he can exploit it towards my goal, so I decide to close it using my winger, I rid the opponent changing direction just by observing his ball holder. Now this means that he has no dangerous option left, no open pass forward, no open way towards my goal, and I have no problem with him passing backwards to this defender, so I approach aggressively and he didn't have time to react. You can approach the opponent's ball holder even though he has open options, but only if you can react quicker than your opponent like making quick player switches and surprise the opponent. This is so important to understand, to defend effectively you have to be able to transit from one purpose to another. For example you block the path and press, when you block that path towards your goal, defending doesn't end here, you can win the ball only if the opponent tries to force his way through your defender. But good opponents will understand that there's no way forward, so they will try to change for other options, then that's when you approach and apply pressure and challenge for the ball. Not only pressing, but if the opponent has an open passing lane forward, don't block the opponent's way and just stick on that, if the opponent is good enough, he will change to see if he has other options, if there's an open pass, then cut that pass. And as I told you it's not only applied to one defender, you can use multiple defenders to block the way and then cut the passing lane. For example here, I just run to block the opponent's path towards my goal and remain passive, because the opponent has this running player in behind, so it will be a bad idea for me to commit and apply pressure here. The opponent controls the ball into the space and I realize he has this forward open free pass, but I can't use this very defender to cut that pass for two reasons. 1. I will be leaving a big space in his position to make this pass more dangerous. 2. It's not his role at this moment because I have a defender to intercept this pass, so I switch to that defender and win that ball. Then lastly you can cut that passing lane and after you approach that ball holder, you close up that pass, your defender is in a good position and he's blocking that path towards your goal, so the opponent has no option at the moment, approach and apply pressure. So that's how you transit from one purpose to another while defending to make it hard for the opponent to attack easily. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.